Hello there, fine folks. Welcome to another Railroader video. Vidya 3.0 is released from the Railroader team today. Today is March the 23rd, 2024, and it's a chonker for sure. We get some new locomotives, updated locomotives, updated caboose, uh, some industries, some graphical things, performance, smoothnessing, smooth, sm that's not a word, performance uh, optimizations. It's a whole list right here. I will link it uh, down below as usual where you can go and find that out for yourself. But we're going to get in the game, which I've got running in the background, and hop around and see what we can find. So here we go, guys. Here's the uh, the three new, all new locomotives added to the complete uh, purchasable roster and a C55 update, which is in the background there. We'll take a look at those in a minute. First things first, we're going to get into a couple of things uh, in the menu itself. So we're going to hit escape, go to preferences, which is your kind of main settings or options, go to graphics. And down here, we now have post exposure and contrast. So I don't know where I like it quite yet, to be honest. I think I have it on cloudy one right now. But depending, of course, on the exposure, uh, it's going to make that brighter or darker um, overall with the sky, mostly in the clouds. And then the contrast is just the game overall. I think they tweaked the lighting a bit as well. Uh, but we'll just mess around with the contrast. So I've got it at 48 uh, you can drop it all the way down and then take it all the way up so you can have some much vibrant, richer colors, darker blacks, things like that. Uh, I think I had it about here. Of course, it looks it looks a lot different when you've got different weather. So whether it's fog, rain, different cloudinesses, uh, and then clear. And then exposure, I've got a, uh, a happy medium so far of 0.6. You can mess around with that as well. So that's, you can see the sky a bit better there. And then take it all the way up and just bloom it out like a mofo. And you can't see anything. Looks like uh, like you're playing Fallout or something. And a nuke has gone off. It's just crazy. So what did I have that on? 4.6? I like 0.6. We'll leave it there. So you have got those to mess with, uh, which is very, very neat. Now, they apparently revamped the grass... Uh, and the way it renders, it doesn't seem to kind of harshly pop in like it did before. You can still kind of see it pop in because the, the LOD or level of detail will change the closer you get to it and things like that. But it doesn't seem as bad. And something else I'm noticing right off the bat after this update dropped and I hopped right in and started recording this video is the, the free cam. So free camming around like this and just motion in general is a lot a lot smoother now. Before it would kind of do this little hitch, not so much a stutter, but this little dit, 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 almost like a, a second hand or something. It was kind of funny, but I'll I'll bring up my settings here just to yeah, that's right. I do have a 33% operational safety. A lot has happened. A lot has happened. I'll just leave it at that. But my graphics overall are uh, 1440p full screen, UI scale 115, uh, V-Sync limit to FPS 60, so I don't actually have V-Sync on. Uh, ultra quality, standard particles, draw distance 1.5, tree density 1.8, detail all the way. Uh, field of view 75 and 80, and then exposure and contrast, that of course is, uh, is totally up to you. So yeah, they've updated uh, trees, grass, plant rendering and apparently they've updated the road beds as well so it just looks a bit more smooth and natural leading up to the road beds uh themselves I always thought you know as far as like train sims this was always one of the best looking uh you know games road bed wise it looked nice and natural and smooth and it wasn't just crate you know crazy straight edge you know 3d kind of flat lines if you will uh, it looks pretty good, but there's supposed to be some some kind of smoothness down into the riverbed itself. So this is a tuxedo right outside of Bryson right here. There's uh, rocks all in the river. I, I know there were rocks in some parts of the rivers uh, along the map before. I don't know if they recently added some. Um, but yeah, you know, I don't know what's changed uh, totally, but I feel like it's a bit more bare here and there but what i'm noticing is like the water line along the dirt itself looks looks a lot better it's just not a straight line where you've got you know terra firma and then liquid it's uh you know there's 
it actually looks kind of like where water is, you know, touching the banks. It's, you know, it's kind of obtuse. It's not, uh, it's not just, you know, super sharp, this or that. It's kind of a, a nice middle ground. Now, like this right here, you can kind of see that's, that's a bit funky looking. I don't know what's going on with that, but I think that's more akin to like the old way that it looked. And then you back up here and it's just more natural kind of riverbank, which is uh, very, very cool. So they did that. We got some new industries as well, which I am pretty excited for since I've got the entire map fleshed out now. And I am just now going through CTC signaling, uh, getting those placed down as well. But we will go to Locations. And one of the new ones is in Nantahala, which is uh, what I've been waiting for. The Nantahala talc and limestone. If I'm not mistaken, this is still here to this very day. And I think the GSMR serves them, or they did in the last few years. It's one of their actual, uh, you know, freight contracts. Now, they do heritage runs and stuff like that, obviously, but they still run freight as well, the GSMR. Uh, so this is all new. I have not got a contract yet, but bet your ass we're going to go right to two. So it's going to start tomorrow, of course. And we'll go ahead and click on that and see where it is at. So it's some of these little stubs right down here. Let's see. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Where am I at? Uh, where the heck am I at? Let me open them. Oh, this is in Hewitt. This is in Hewitt. Not quite Nanahala. So it's almost Nanahala. Okay, so that's what that is. Okay, very cool. Very cool. So all new stuff in Hewitt. Now, I thought Hewitt had its own thing as well. And I believe it does. So that's ST1 there. You can see it in the distance there. We'll come up a little bit here. T1, T2 right next to it. T3 is where the heck is t3 okay it's right there and then t4 is right behind it so along with uh that uh addition i think hewitt should be on here as well i thought okay so that does come up as hewitt okay so not to have a talc and limestone is under hewitt got it all right power and light not a hollow power and light let's go ahead and click on that So here we go. Where the heck are we at? I still don't know where the heck we're at now. Let me look at the map. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. Hell yeah. So this is the this goes across the, the creek and in the river over here. That's what this little trestle was. Hell yes. Okay, because the, the track just kind of dead ended, right? So that's all new track back there as well. So yeah, here's a coal loader. This is not a hollow. There's the uh, depot down there, the river to the right, obviously. So now you've got stuff to do back in here. Absolutely radical. It's a nice little straight bit of track there. Hell yes. Little valley through here as well. So let's pop that open again. Uh, what was it? Hewitt or under Hewitt. So it's not a hollow power and light. R1 and O1. So boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Union Lumber Company. Oh, so it's on the other end. So Union Lumber Company is down here. Okay, very cool, very cool. So we have got that. So what's that? Friggin' three new industries? And then I think... Uh, I'm trying to think. Let me look at the, uh, the patch notes. Wesser? National Park Service. So we'll go over to Wesser. And uh, this is kind of like right at the edge of the uh, Fontana. We call it a lake reservoir, essentially. Uh, used to be a dry valley. And they dammed it up for hydroelectric purposes. So there's Wesser there. And then there's Almond. So it's kind of between like Brooks and Nantahala. So Wesser, 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 Wesser. Okay, so we'll look at those. So I'm assuming it's that little stub right there. Indeed, it is. Very cool. So we've got three new industries. Now, sadly, 
no part of this update has any kind of new assets, it, it, you know, in lieu of like buildings and trucks and, and conveyors and things like that. I would very, very much like to see that updated. Uh, that's the biggest thing. Like rolling stock, we've got a good bit of rolling stock in railroad. We did right off the, you know, right off the gun. Like we had a ton of stuff. And since then, we've gotten, what, six new locomotives now, which is very cool. But uh, I want to see the assets, man. I, I want to see this map fleshed out. I want buildings. I want houses, homes, uh, you know, old trucks, cars, industries, things like that. We need something here so it's not like some ghost force just comes and does whatever with the cars you drop and then take it away and then comes back. So new industries. Very cool. One of the things they did as well is updated the coal and water usage, which I know a lot of you, myself included, have been really, really hoping and waiting for because it was always a bit much. It was always a bit, bit much. This is my uh, interchange down here in, uh, in uh, Andrews. Let me click on, hell, we'll go back to, we'll go back to Bryson. Actually, no. Let me see. Sorry, 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 sorry. Here we go. We'll go click on the 080. Little Chonker. Little Chonker Jr. There we go. The Ouch. Let me click on that. Boom. Orders. Manual. Car. Select. And there we go. Now we are inside of it. Now, I think... Now, if you, if you guys have the whistle mod, I think that might have kind of pooped itself like a lot of mods may so you have to just kind of reinstall it and it should work again i hope we click on equipment customize uh, well wait a wait a minute now maybe it didn't so i got the crosby three on there let's see let's try that you went to Yeah, okay, no, it did. Yeah, so every darn one is the same. So yeah, the whistle mod is uh, got dunked on, obviously, and it's going to need to be reinstalled. Um, the trees look a do bit different, uh, you know, sitting here, kind of swaying in the breeze. Um, yeah, they do look a bit different. Like the, the motion of them. But anyway, back... Brain fart. Back to what I was talking about. So coal usage and water consumption. You'll also see on the UI, uh, you know, the little tag that's next to the cursor. You'll see like a, a wheel or a circle, which uh, denotes, you know, how much coal or water you got left. So I think usage has gone down. So we're going to get on this son of a gun here. Select Fala. We'll zoom in. Zoop, zoop. And we'll just run in reverse because I got the yard full up there. And uh, we'll just see... What the consumption is like. So we got 7,817 gallons of water. So overall, I think it just uses a bit less of, you know, your coal and water overall. Now, it's also going to have a lot to do with where you've got your reverser. So I've got it full back right now. We'll position it um, quite a bit back towards center. And I'm sorry for the silence. I'm just watching the UI and the and the water go down. It looks a little bit slower. It doesn't look like drastically slower, but it does look a bit slower. Now it's it's all going to depend on, I think obviously the weight of the locomotive, what locomotive you're using, how fast you're going, going uphill, downhill, flat surface, uh, in reverser position as well. So that has been updated which is very cool. And now one of the other things, I really, really, really like this right here. So let's go back, little old, little Joe here with his cool little cap and glasses on. You got engines, right? You're on your map or you're playing with pals. You got engines. You don't know where the heck they're at. Uh, you know, none of that. Now you've got the ease of use of popping that R key. And look at there, you have an engine roster. Now, you should be able to go straight to it. So, let's see. To 1750, 
I come up with dumb names and numbers just so I can remember it, uh, you know, smooth brain style. So 1750, that's GP9, 1750 horsepower, 600 SW1, 600 horsepower, so on and so forth. So I don't want to look all over the map, right? Normally you got to do this. You got to scroll all around. Where's my engine? Da, da, da. You don't have to do that. So we'll go 600. It's, it also shows it's, uh, you know, what's going on with it as well. So they're all currently stopped. So that right there is inspect show inspector panel for this engine. We'll click that. And it's just your, your typical, you know, how you select the engine, how you follow it, things like that. The status overall. And then the I overhead, follow this engine, click on that. And it goes right to it. Easy peasy. How freaking cool is that? That's probably one of the coolest things about this update. Uh, they say that they've also updated your rail car movement performance. So if you get a lot of cars on the map, um, you know, they, they, they can cause some optimization issues or they could before. It's just having so much on the map and, and the coding or scripting, having to talk with one another, figure out what's going on with these cars, what's in them, you know, the whole thing, just technical stuff I know nothing about. I guess they've smoothed that out a bit. So if you've got a ton of cars or just a motion or movement of cars uh, overall. So that is neat. Uh, the lighting does does look different. Of course, you can change the exposure and the contrast. But uh, I feel like it looks a little too kind of soft and bloomy here. So let's try and fix that on the fly. Let's go down. Uh, let's see. Is it the contrast? We'll take the contrast up a bit and we'll lessen that exposure. Yeah, look at that. Nuclear fallout. Holy hell. And it also has a lot to do with how far you can actually see, so your view distance. So I think with 65 contrast, take it down to like 4, 3 or 4.3 anyway. Yeah, so that looks a li little bit more natural. Unity engine can have a certain look to it. That is for sure. Uh, I do think, you know, some of the color palette and lighting and things like that could use a bit of tweaking overall, but it, you know, it looks nice enough. That's how I look at it. So we'll go ahead and select and follow that. Even though we have the roster, I still just did it the old way. Muscle memory, I guess. Um, and smooth brainness. Santa Fe, boys and girls. That be... A two, ten, two. Yeah, yeah. We'll get to that, though. Let me get me out of here. There we go. Get out of the pit. So one of the things they did was updated the uh, early and more modern wooden caboose. So it just looks a bit nicer overall. I think they touched it up uh, a bit, you know, on the exterior side of things. But one of the biggest uh, parts of this latest update is this. So I'm going to control click it, select equipment, customize. You can now change the color overall and then of course the lettering so we'll do it we'll do it like a yellow a dark a mustard a mustard there we go apply and then lettering color let's get this crap out of the way here lettering color of course you can change as well yikes yeah we don't want that we'll just go with like black or white yeah white will probably come out the best but yeah both of those you can both uh, change the coloring on now. So for the main dish, the entree, the T twenty two ten wheeler. That's this little guy over here. Now this is new. Obviously, now we had a ten wheeler before. Obviously, I think we do we have two ten wheelers. Actually, I think this is. I think a lot of these are largely based on Southern or Southern Railway counterparts. Uh, let's go ahead and open shift T. So the first one we want to look at is the T22. That's one of the new ones, which is the one we are staring at right here. Yeah, there it is. So it's this one here. We'll just click to add. Now I'm in my company, but I'm currently in sandbox just so I can place these down because I certainly could not afford them otherwise right now. Uh, but before you had the 10 or the T17 and the T21. Now this one, uh, the main deal with the T22 is it just holds a lot more coal and water than the uh, T21 would have otherwise. But by and large, new, you know, new engine, new uh, capability as far as how much it holds and how far you can go and things like that. 
Yeah, I feel like it's a bit too dark in here. I'm just going to keep doing this, aren't I? Let's let's mess with the contrast once more. It looks a little too cartoony and goofy. Because you don't want it too black where, like, nothing comes out, you know? You want it kind of... And plus, I like my engines kind of looking a little worn anyway. That's probably a good medium, you know, 50. I'd say just leave it at 50 and mess with the exposure. That's probably your best bet. But I uh, can hold a lot new tender on this sucker, the T22. Now, the A23 is a 440, obviously, the American type right here. Very old school style arrangement. No trailing wheels under the cab. Again, looks uh, looks about on par with a lot of the models for, you know, Railroader, which isn't terrible. Um, yeah, new locomotive as well. Let me go ahead and shift T. And let's see, what is it? A23? American. So this sucker's 189,950 pounds. And there it is right there. Okay, let's see. The A26 is 247 yikers and that's that and then hold on a second let me get out of company mode let me get out of doofus mode here or sandbox sorry so uh we'll go mode company company there it goes we're back in it oh that's another deal um so the command console you'll see actual time stamps now so when you do something you'll see a time stamp of when it was done which is nice because when you've got horrible short-term memory, uh, that will certainly, certainly come in handy. So let's hit Shifty again, where we can now see the prices and things like that. So the uh, the T22, 21,000 pound tractive effort, uh, small curve radius, 135,000 pound empty. Uh, so that thing can hold 12 ton of coal, 5,000 gallons of water. That's that's pretty decent, especially for a starter tier uh engine so the price is ninety five hundred dollars i guess um typically not including whatever discount you have uh naturally let's go to the a23 american tractive effort twenty two thousand six hundred extra small curve radius one hundred and forty four nine fifty thousand uh empty six thousand gallons of water and ten tons of coal that's a chonker too man that thing's ten thousand dollars so Pretty decent starter engines, honestly. They're not too bad. And then, of course, the Santa Fe, the big boy, which I'm sure a lot of you will be most excited about in this whole patch overall. 2102. Tractive effort, 74,700 pounds. Large curve radius, obviously. Weight empty, 370,600. Uh, holds 15 tons of coal, 10,000 gallons of water. So that's that's like the thick Pacific Burke range. Uh, and the price on this bad boy is 38000 I was totally wrong. The Berkshire holds 25 tons of coal and 22,000 gallons of water. Yikes. And it's a lot less. But a lot more tractive effort. So I can put the power down um, a lot, a lot better. But uh, just kind of wanted to quickly go over the update, guys, for those that may have been out of the loop uh, for a little while on Railroader or, uh, you know, may not have seen Railroader at all before. Welcome to Railroader. Uh, this is Railroader, obviously. But nice, nice update. I think a lot of it is on the performance side and optimizations, which is cool. It does seem to be running a bit smoother for me, which is nice. Hopefully a lot of you as well. Uh, three new locomotives. Oh, sorry. And the update on the C55, my bread and butter. This is pretty much all I use on my personal railroad here. Uh, white number boards, of course. Headlight up there. They did a couple uh, other updates. I don't know exactly what, honestly. I need to take a, a further and deeper uh, look at it. But that was updated as well. C55, Connie. The bad, bad Connie. And bad isn't good. I love that thing. But yeah, quick update. Wanted to take a look. That is it, guys. I'm sure we'll see a lot of this stuff in action because we are cracking with it on the Natahala and Takasiji Railroad, uh, which is my you know personal railroad. Obviously, been playing with friends uh, recently and and spreading the map out. We've got new industries, so we'll see some in action or let's play style uh, in the near near future. But that is it, guys. As usual, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.